Well, hello there. Happy Sunday. It's too hot to go outside today. So we're in the bunny room. This is my indoor girl bunnies. And I've got a lot of them. <laughs> These are all Angora bunnies. And if you watch the videos, you know a bunch of these girls. But let's go down the line and say hello. Because we've changed things around a little bit. And we have weaned some babies, some kits. And we've gotten some new hutches. Who's creeping up on me? <laughs> Hi, Flo Bear. <laughs> Hi, puppy boy. You want to say hi to the bunnies? Yeah. Yeah. So, in our little indoor bunny room, we have two little chestnut or red angora bunnies. These are both girls. These are does. And they are about three months old. So, they just blew out their first coat. Well, actually, Cinnamon just blew out her first coat and Nutmeg is working on it, but she will look more like cinnamon in the next day or two. Angoras just kind of shed out, blow out their coat every three months, and I collect it, and I spin the yarn from it, and I do wet felting. All sorts of great uses for Angora fiber, which is cashmere, practically. Yeah, so my two girls. I wasn't sure if this color is called fawn, or copper, or chestnut, or red, so I have to do a bit more research, but um, we might have a fawn and a copper. We'll see. But those are my two little three-month-old does, doelings, <laughs> cinnamon and nutmeg. And let's just go straight over to their brothers. We have two three-month-old bucklings here in the girls' room because uh, we just weaned them from their mama recently and we're going to put them out in the bunny barn with the other boys soon. Um, but they just were weaned and they also are uh, up for sale right now and we're getting some nibbles looking for a home for these sweet little boys. Blue eyes don't know what is going on with those adorable floppy ears. We've never had that before. Could just be that they haven't grown into their ears yet because they're quite small still. They're only three months old, but this is cream. Beautiful frosted pearl English Angora named cream because she has a beautiful creamy tinge to her fiber. She also, or he, he also just blew out his coat, so he's got a really short length right now. But you can see the gorgeous crimping. He's got a really nice coat and a really sweet disposition. So hopefully we'll have a good home for this little buckling of cream and his brother, Sugar. Hey, Sugar, say hello. Yeah, he's eating some dins. There's my little makeshift litter boxes. <laughs> I use um, old cat litter boxes. I just cut it out and fill it with hay. And I line it with paper, of course. Hi, Sugar. So Sugar is identical to his brother, Cream, except that he has not grown in his ear tassels yet. Still kind of fuzzy, but hasn't grown those in yet. A little slow to develop. And I think he's got a whiter coat. So he is frosted pearl, but he's gonna look more like his mama Mopsy, who is on the lilac side of frosted pearl. Whereas cream here is gonna be on the creamier side, like Johnny Cashmere, one of my bucklings. Yeah. So these two little boys have their little litter boxes, they've got their pellets, they've got their hay. They're perfectly happy. I was letting them run around every day with their sisters while they were first weaned, but now that they're fully weaned, they stay in. They go out for a little exercise together in the yard. Who's in here? 
Where's Mama Mopsy? Hi. Hey, Mops. She's like, would you please? I was having some dinner. Okay, I'm sorry. Mopsy, I mean, everybody has a different personality. Mopsy is very shy. <laughs> but she's the mama. She is a beautiful frosted pearl with brown eyes. Gorgeous ear tassels. Nice English Angora. So Mopsy is the daughter of Dreama, everybody's favorite. And Dreama is my English Angora lilac color. Hey girl. No, don't leave us, Dreamy. Oh, are you showing off your new hutch? Yes, we have just gotten Dreama a new hutch. We love our Dreamy. One of my first bunnies. The one that kind of got me into Angoras. Love her color. Love her personality. <laughs> Obsessums. And so we've bred her a few times with some different bucks that we have to see what kind of colors we get and personalities and fiber. And she is a little Houdini and she likes to get out of every hutch that I get her in. So this is a new hutch and it has lockable <laughs> lockable doors <laughs> so she is a smart one we'll see how she does we'll see if she can get out of that she's showing us she's got her litter box down here on this side and over here is her water and a little ramp that goes up to her second story here, let's close this and show you her like little second story so she has a little door here so cute this one opens to the second story where she has her pellets, her bed, a little hayloft. So cute. That was probably my favorite part. And this is the roof. It does open. I just kind of have it propped open right now because it's still, um, the wood is kind of off gassing even though it's been a few days. So just to make sure she's getting enough fresh air, I'm kind of putting these little planks here and propping it up like that just for now and also because it's summertime I want to make sure she's cool cool and collected yeah so that's Dreama's new house super cute love it got it on Amazon and then over here we have a beautiful blueberry oh my goodness blueberry everyone's gonna think that you've been tortured look at you so what's going on here blueberry is our giant German Angora and she blew out her coat. Summertime, really, really long staple length on her fiber. She just blew it out. I was just gently combing and plucking and it was just coming out. So, um, I collected most of it. She did a really good work of the rest of it. You can see some of it's in her little cage here in her little house. She's got her pellets, her hay. Her special blanket, a little hidey hole. And she's as happy as a little blueberry, huh? Yes, I am. You can see why she's named Blueberry. Her wool color is technically called blue, but she has little blueberry speckles all over her back. Do you see them? Little blueberries. Hmm, so cute. <laughs> That's my girl Blueberry. She is a rescue bunny. From an animal auction. There she goes. She's leaving. Don't talk about it. We've had her for a year and a half now and she's such a sweetheart. But it took us a while to build up that relationship. It takes a little time with a new bun. Oh, which brings us to... Nina! The French Angora. Um... I got this French Angora to breed with my beautiful French Angora Buck Padre. So I got this one at a beautiful farm, um, fiber farm down in Yarmouth, Maine. She hates me. <laughs> so we're working on the relationship. She has everything she needs. She has her fresh water, her pellets, her hay two litter boxes because she's special and she needs two. She refuses to be litter box trained. I do. 
but I wanted to get a French Angora because um, I have a French Angora buck. I wanted to have some French Angora kits. French Angoras are bigger than English. They have a clean face, like no facial furnishings, and uh, clean feet. So a little easier to groom. And she has beautiful fiber. Can we look at your fiber, Nina? No, don't look at me. Nice cramping. Oh, hi, honey. She's doing pretty well, actually. Usually she growls at me. So, she is starting to blow out her coat right now, and we are working on doing such gentle groomings that she will learn to love me. Right? <gasps> she's still somewhat a juvenile. Um, she'll, she's nine months old right now. So I was going to breed her at nine months. Oh, I think I'm gonna wait a little minute. I mean wait till she's a year old or so just because we are still just working on our relationship, huh, honey? But we'll get there. You can tell she is alert and looking actually pretty happy today. I'm really glad she didn't growl. Groomings have been interesting. Lots of biting and growling. <laughs> but we're working through it. Oh, positive reinforcement, gentle routine. What a good girl. So that's my bunny room. I do recycle, reduce, reuse a lot of stuff, as you can tell. Um, that's the way it goes. Waste not, want not. I've got my hay in here. I just take my old grain bags, fill them with a flake or two of hay from my barn, and bring it in and just have it in a basket. So I've got hay where I need it for their litter boxes. And uh, I do let them out every morning for a little hop around not all of them at once because they don't all get along but usually either this one on her own that one on her own or everybody else but the bunny boys <laughs> you know mayhem so that's my bunny room as my little niece Ada Kelly likes to say come on Auntie Kel let's go to the bunny store <laughs> that's my bunny store Thanks for watching. We love you. I'll do another video soon. I promise. We'll see you soon.